of a law about mandatory minimum sentencing, a Clarksville man convicted on drug crimes received a lifetime sentence. That man is now free thanks to a sympathetic judge and outgoing president and is telling his story for the first time to News Channel 5's Chris Davis. Sir, I understood that I did not live the best life I could live before prison and that I made some choices that I needed to get corrected. Chris Young knew he probably deserved some time behind bars, but his involvement in a Clarksville drug ring was at a low level, so he pleaded not guilty. Me trying to prevent from having to die in prison, I literally got sentenced to death in prison. But due to mandatory minimum sentencing laws, Judge Kevin Sharp had no choice in the matter. Well, what was going through my head was what a waste. This is so harsh for their role. Sharp may not have had a choice on the lifetime sentence, but he did when it came to his own career. He decided to resign his position on the bench and speak out about Chris's case. That got the attention of attorney Brittany K. Barnett. And I've never seen a judge speak out in this way. Barnett flew to Nashville to put together a legal team, starting with Sharp. And many people joined forces with us to ensure that Chris Young was free. That included celebrity Kim Kardashian. We'll come up with a new name for you. Okay. Using the Kardashian star power, they got the attention of President Donald Trump, who agreed to a meeting in 2018 at the White House. Mr. Trump listened, but didn't act immediately, and Sharp became worried. They didn't think that Chris fit into that category of people that they were going to grant clemency to, and so I really had thought this was this was over for Chris. That all changed the president's last full day in office. Young was granted clemency and was flown back home to Middle Tennessee. Waiting on the other side of security was Judge Sharp. This interview was their second chance to catch up. <laughs> I appreciate you doing so real talk, man. Sharp surprised him with a book that Young had mentioned during the sentencing hearing. You and me. So right. the world. What's next for Chris Young? To help extend some of the mercy to other convicts that was so hard fought for himself. I felt appreciated, recognized, and I felt loved. With photojournalist Brian Hallett, Chris Davis, News Channel 5.